Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be drawing Kong, aka King Kong from the new movie. So let's get going. So this new Skull Island has a really big ape in the movie. Sorry guys, can't talk. Um, but um, I haven't seen the new movie yet, but I have seen the ones in the past. Uh, I think I've seen like three or four of them already. Um, and I remember the ride from Universal way back when I was little. So right now, I'm drawing the head uh, and followed by uh, the nose. And it's kind of going to be facing kind of an angle. You know what I've noticed? Uh, I used to watch The Flash, the TV show series, and uh, on CW. And <laughs> I, might, I might say it's, it was good thing at first, but now it's kind of getting kind of old. But it kind of reminds me of the character Grodd. Uh, he's kind of like a, an ape creature that has like super intelligence and is super strong. But um, that's what the struggle reminds me of also. But anyways, I'm going to label as Kong. And um, that's basically it. So I'm really proud of this drawing. Uh, it turned out really better, uh, a lot better than I thought. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy. So right, I just did the mouth, the head, it's very pointy. I'm doing a lot of brush strokes. And this pen does really well uh, with this type of drawing. Because it's going to be, it's kind of like more... Uh, organic and a lot more freeform instead of like really solid lines and that's what this uh, pen this uh, fabric cell pit pen really excels at and it's kind of like has this calligraphy style and I'm gonna use this a whole entire drawing uh, I did do a pre-sketch so you guys see the black uh, the blue lines that's what those are from uh, as you guys know I don't film those parts because it's just completely boring sometimes I do sometimes I don't uh, in the way old videos you guys can see uh, I do film when I do the pre-sketches, but I stopped doing that because it's taking me no way too much time. So anyways, uh, my goal is to keep this video under six minutes. So here we go. I just did the one arm. As you can see, I just did it in sections and uh, patches, as you can say. It's kind of like a tree uh, and it has its uh, leaves draped down. So that's kind of how I did the effect with each body part. And you see that it emphasized the muscles a little bit. Uh, hence the shoulders and then the forearms so it kind of like hugs it and that's what I'm going to be doing with this second forearm in the back you can see I'm trying to like do a couple strokes for the hairs and notice not how I'm drawing every single hair I'm kind of just emphasizing it with lines and uh, I apologize uh, kids but this is kind of more of an advanced drawing with more advanced terms so hopefully my high school students that I used to teach uh, understand some of the terms I'm talking about uh, in this video. So I'm going to try to do some foreshortening with the thumbs and then also in the fingers uh, just to create more uh, depth in the drawing. And uh, you can see I'm kind of, <laughs> uh, I'm doing this all in uh, fabric cell marker so I can't really erase. I kind of messed up in that one finger over there, but it's okay. So I'm trying to emphasize with more curves and contour lines. Just like so, and then we move on to the back end. So the back end is going to be a little more uh, stout when it comes to the legs, and uh, I'll, you can see that with uh, the foreshortening I do with the hind legs as well. It's going to be bent in such a manner, so it's kind of like has a propped up look, and it's very much smaller than the front end because the front end is a lot more muscular. Do a little more hair. I uh, see on the back end and underneath the legs, uh, the lines are a little more straighter. That's because uh, you lose the detail. You don't want to have too much detail everywhere or else the eye has no real way to focus. So my main focus in this drawing is that I want the viewer or the audience to see the arms and the face a lot more. So that's why the detail is seen a lot more in those sections over there. So I'm basically almost done with the drawing. I'm just doing a little bit more of the fingers on each part. And then I'm going to speed up and I'm going to start from the lightest color, which is I think a 30% gray. And I'm going to move up from there. So I start with 30, then 40. 50, I don't think, I think I skipped 50, and I went 60, 70, and 80, and I'm not sure, quite sure, I think I did a 90, but uh, as you can see right now, I'm doing, I think I believe this is the 60 one, so I'm trying to uh, pretend that there's a highlight or a light source on the top left hand corner, and I kind of went from there, so that's why you see all those shadows, and I'm going to go deeper for the shadows, and you can see the drawing starting to take life as I add more shadows in certain areas, and I think this is the 80%, I believe. Nope, this, yeah, this is the 80%. And this, this is where it starts to get a little more dark. And then I think I finish it off with a cool black. That's exactly what the marker is called. So you can see, I'm trying to fill in those dark areas. And here's that cool black I was talking about. 
and it really makes the drawing pop out a whole lot more. So this is one of my favorite drawings uh, on this channel so far. I hope to do more drawings like this one uh, in the future. I think I like it because it's more black and white and I don't really do black and white photos or drawings in this channel. But um, here's a good start. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope to do more just like this one. If you guys want to see more, here's some on this end card. And if you guys want to, if you guys want to support the channel, please subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.